guys, what's up? My name is Dina Halsell, bassist of Ascentium, and I'm here with my co-host, Oscar Miss. He is the founder of the Metal Haven Bash. Okay, guys, welcome to the first of many Metal Haven podcasts promoting Central American bands. A show dedicated to highlighting Latin American and Central American bands from the region. Subscribe, like, and follow. Stay tuned because we're going to be interviewing some really excited, exciting bands in the future, including Nervosa, a trash metal band from Brazil. So that's going to be really exciting. Okay, guys, we have the abortions here with us. You guys are our first guest. How have you been? Well, uh, very good. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Uh, we are, you know, currently working on some new material uh, and some new ideas also. Um, we have been uh, a bit uh, disconnected, but uh, that doesn't mean that we are not working, you know? Everyone, okay. Yeah. Okay, I want to start, before we start with the questions, I want to tell you a story, how I get to know about the abortionist. True, one song in 2013. Somebody shared, oh, yes. a, somebody shared a song on Facebook, and it was an instrumental song, A Colors of a New Beginning. That was the first song I heard from you guys. And yes. In, And then when I went on, on, on Facebook and searched about you guys and more music, and you had two more songs, Shades of Hatred and Inception later on. And then in, in 2014, we got a message from one of your, well, the guitar player that used to play with you guys, writing us that you wanted to do a tour. And we got to invite you to perform twice here in Belize. So, um... Tell us how you guys started, which year you guys started. And, uh, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Let's start well, with that. sure. Okay. Well, uh, first of all, I want to, you know, apologize if my English is a, a bit rust. <laughs> no, it's uh, really good. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I will try, you know, to, to, you know, to express myself in a good way. Um, well, we started on uh, 2013 i guess uh with you know our um our ex guitar player oscar um we we used to play in um in a black metal band uh, here in guatemala uh, the band uh, called sactum regnum so i knew oscar there and then uh well Also with Gay with uh, Gabriel, uh, we we known since we were child, you know, uh, many many years ago. So uh, we started on 2013 formally, you know, uh, and we decided to you know to to name the band. Also the version is we we choose the name and. Um, Well, uh, one thing that it's, you know, kind of um, uh, good to remember is that we um, are, are, I will say, our first uh, show, first live show was in a battle uh, for an opening uh, for the band's uh, Halloween in Gamma Ray here in Guatemala. In, uh, oh, that's awesome. With, uh, Won, yeah, yeah, we won, and uh, it was, you know, a, a very, you know, uh, happy experience for us. How many bands um, competed for that? How many bands from Guatemala? Uh, I don't remember very well, but I will say it was about um, oh, seven to eight bands. Nice, uh, <laughs> kind of, yeah. A big win then <laughs> yeah <laughs> kind of yeah yes we were very happy at that time you know uh also i'm a big uh halloween fan oh you okay. know yeah so you guys had like the experience of meeting the band and working with them or was it more like an opening band then they come on type situation 
Uh, well, uh, we crossed a couple of wars with the band members, uh, you know, a couple of uh, shots, and uh, uh, I I spoke with uh, Kai Hansen, and uh, yeah, for me, it was like, oh my God, yeah. you know. <laughs> One of your yeah. idols, right? Yeah, kind of, man, yes. Oh, that's uh, that's epic. Um, when you guys did that, was it there a lot of camaraderie between the bands trying out, or...? Or was it like a tense kind of competition to get there? Um, well, I will say that um, for us was like, uh, I have, you know, a um, couple of years of, in a music uh, uh, industry here in Guatemala. You know, I started since, um, I will say, ni 1999 and, uh well, for us, you know, it was like the first, uh, the first uh, winning uh, that we win that we won something. So, yeah, I will say that it was, um, you know, uh, very awesome for us to to do that show. Yeah, it uh, it means a lot for us. Awesome, awesome. Okay, tell us um, um, what's up with the uh, versionists. Are they taking out new music this year, next year? You, I, know yes. your last, I know your last performance was in 2019. Your last performance at Guatemala City. So Yes, that's, that's correct. Yes, that's correct. Uh, our last uh, show was in the 2019, actually, in... Um, well, since there we, you know, we are we're working in some new ideas. Um, I have the, um, you know, the the option to work on, on my computer, and uh, also uh, we are working with uh, Gabriel. Uh, he used to work in, uh, you know, in uh, programming the drums, you know, for mm -hmm. the songs. And um, well, we are currently working in a new EP. Uh, we have about, um, I will say, about five songs already. And um, uh, also, Biash will be will be in charge of the lyrics. So we have some, you know, some ideas that we are hoping to, to launch uh, this year, of course. Awesome. So how did uh, COVID go for you guys? Was it really stressful over there when it came to the music industry like everywhere else? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, you know, uh, um, all the shows, uh, you know, were canceled. Um, some, uh, I will say that uh, some bands, you know, were working uh, mostly only writing material, uh, preparing them themselves to to launch new music, but live shows, you know, were totally uh, canceled since I will say. Uh, uh 2021 no uh, well last year yeah so yeah it was a, a a very hard uh situation i guess in all the countries uh of course yeah for sure and um do you guys have a process of writing together right now or uh, due to covid are you guys writing separately or what's the process for your album Oh yeah. Well, uh, we are working uh, mostly, uh, you know, each one in uh, in home, you know, separately. I I used to, you know, uh, to record myself and some uh, riffs, guitar riffs uh, on my computer. Then I will send the guys. You know, I send uh, all the material to Gabriel. Um, he used to program the, the drums in uh, also by uh, his way. And uh, all, well, with Biash is the same, you know, with Biash, uh, uh, I, you know, send uh, uh, some demos to, to, to him. And uh, well, he's working some lyrics right now, uh, also, also by, he, by his own, you know, in his house, in his home, of course. Yeah. I hear some really, really good riffs coming out from you guys. Um, who's your inspiration as far as, as writing and the bands that you like? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I will say uh, 
for for me, you know, um, oh, there's a lot of bands I ad, I admire. Uh, I can, you know, I can say, for example, Born of Osiris. Uh, it's one of my main uh, influence, music influence. Also, uh, the Faceless, um, Kill Switch Engage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And right now, I'm a lot into uh, technical death metal, but uh, the uh, the aversion is will be most uh, mostly uh, an experimental band because we have uh, very different. Uh, influence uh, each one of us, you know. Oh, nice. So it makes a good, interesting blend. Well, we're, we're really excited to hear what you guys have cooking up. That'll be really good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. We hope, you know, we, 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 right now we are hoping to launch uh, this year. We, of course, want to launch a new EP and uh, we are, you know, kind of excited also about it. Sick, sick. And um, are you guys focusing more on short form than a whole album because it's like uh, less complicated? Or how do you feel about that whole EP album argument that's been happening? Well, that's a good question. Um, yes, I will say that we prefer an EP because of the, you know, it's uh, less expensive. Also, we uh, takes, uh, uh, you know, um, less time you know work time because uh we also have uh jobs we have you know families and um it's uh, kind of difficult to to uh give the music the you know the the time that that it needs so uh that's the main reason why we prefer to work on an ep than a long uh a long uh EP. I don't know, a long uh, album, for example. And so, um, can we look forward to any interesting videos from you guys this time? Um, me and Oscar were going over different songs uh, from you guys to prep for the interview, and we really, really enjoyed that um, music video that you guys did, tackling like the, the tough subject of suicide. Um, is there anything more like deep like that coming out from you guys soon? Yes, uh, we are hoping, you know, to launch uh, new music, uh, new videos. Uh, also, thank you guys uh, for uh, enjoying our music. Uh, it's yeah. uh, it means a lot for us. And uh, yeah, this year we we also well, it'll be you know uh, appropriate to also launch a new well new video, for example. And uh, we're hoping that, of course. Yeah, the concept was really great on that one, and um, it, it was very high quality. It was it was great to watch. Oh, thank you, Dina. Yeah, you know, uh, we used to, uh, uh, you know, uh, spoke about uh, some uh, topics for the lyrics, and, and you know, uh, myself and and the uh, prefer to give something with meaning that only you know. Uh, do brawls and uh, talk yeah. about devil and all this stuff <laughs> yeah we well I, i'm not so into that so yeah yeah well it, it was great um you wanted to talk to them about uh some of their different songs that they had in the past right yes yes because you have invited guests on the song inception and on colors of um, shades of hatred is this, yes. Is this is this EP that you guys are recording has a lot of featuring too with other musicians or vocalists? Well, right now we, I I can say that we don't have uh, on mind, you know, uh, we don't have in mind someone uh, to do featuring. Maybe we we can have you know some uh, friends. Uh, on the metal scene here in Guatemala, and um, but yeah, well, we don't have uh, uh, we don't have someone specifically right now. But uh, well, it, it can be a possibility, of course, always. Yeah. Um, are there any bands that you would want to give a, a shout out to, and from Guatemala that you like, or local bands that you see doing really well? Oh yeah, totally. There are so so many bands right now. Um, I can say that um, 
it is like an explosion of uh, talent, you know. Uh, oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, for mention one, I can say, you know, uh, my evilness rich more after I died. You know, the the, the Gabriel um, side project. Oh, sick. Uh, also, uh, yeah, there's a band here that uh, calls uh, Paralyzed Sun. That is a very kick-ass band also there's so many bands you know and um there are they are also friends so i'm very happy with the metal scene here in guatemala right now so has it been like a, a boom after covid i had everybody inside or, or is this new bands old bands forming new bands together how's it going yeah um well they are kind of a new bands but um and we are musicians that have you know a couple of years on the metal scene but these bands are kind of you know uh, recently forming they are changing band members and uh all this, uh, i will say it's a, a good thing you know for the metal scene here in guatemala that's really cool <laughs> thank you apart from playing in belize where else have you played outside of guatemala I beg your pardon? Apart from performing here in Belize, outside of Guatemala, where have you performed? Have you performed in other um, Central American countries or only in Belize? Oh, uh, well, uh, with the Abertionist, um, I will say on, well, you know, outside Guatemala, only Belize. Uh, you know, um, mm, I with, with with my side project with the the Black Port Trade we we went to also to El Salvador uh, with other metal bands I I have I have play also outside Guatemala but with the Abertionists uh, I will say only Bel only Belize. You guys have a lot of fans here in Belize. Yeah. A lot of fans. Oh. And I guess you could see it when they bought the shirts when you bought the, you brought the shirts and they sold. So you 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 remember that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, man. Yes, it, it was sick. You know, for us, it was. Man, we, we love Belize. <laughs> you know, we 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 received a lot of love with you guys, and uh, of course that we are hoping to be there soon, as soon as COVID uh, yeah. allows it. Yeah, man. Yes, awesome. You guys, you guys want to perform for the third time on the tenth annual Metal Heaven when we get to do shows here. So just be ready, write new music, and come prepared with merchandise and the EP. Oh yeah, totally, man, yeah. We, uh, like, uh, we were talking, uh, you know, uh, the other day with Gabriel. Uh, yeah. Of course, we are hoping to be there, man. And uh, also we are, you know, very, with a lot of, um, how can I say, muchas ganas. Uh -huh. uh, to you know to launch new music okay. of course that we have um, uh, many many years you know in silence but okay. uh, this year yeah will be the year man yeah I feel like a lot of bands right now are, are brewing and, and doing things on the down low rather than putting out a lot of content because there's, there's so much things happening a lot of competition it's good to like work on your stuff gather up your audience and, and release your music to people that really want to hear it so that that's something that i think a lot of bands are doing oh yeah totally i do agree with that you know um, yes of course uh, uh yeah we are hoping you know these years this year uh, we are working hard you know um uh, well uh, on new material and uh, new ideas uh so yeah, we hope uh, this year to have this uh, EP, you know, very soon. Yeah, and it's interesting how um, the internet has been giving a lot of fame or a lot of attention to heavier music these days in, in weird pockets that you wouldn't realize they're in. Um, there's that band that I think you guys share genre with, um, Lorna Shore, that had like a really big boom. Oh, yeah. and, and they're really heavy. What do you guys think about that? Do you like them? Is, is it something you'd listen to? Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, Lorna Shore is one also one of our main influences. So uh, yeah, I, it's kind of uh, you know, it's a good thing for for me. You know that uh, metal is having a lot of attention 
than a couple of years ago. For example, when uh, we we used to think that uh, uh, metal was uh, kind of dead, you know, but uh, it's, it's it's very uh, you know very exciting to see yeah. all this uh, new explosion, uh, you know, for what for new bands. If metal's dead, it's a zombie. It's gonna bite you in the face. <laughs> it's not yeah. dead. It's coming back. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Always. I will say that. Um, that's a. That's a, the most um, um, important important thing about metal. That I will say it, it will never die. You know. Yeah, and and it's it's a type of music that's not as simplistic as a lot of other music that gets really popular, and especially the genre you guys play. You're 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 um musicality shows through those songs and it's complex music and it's really good yeah. oh thank you thank you dina yeah um i will say that we uh you know have the a kind of uh necessity uh necessity uh mm -hmm. to 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 work in a most uh complex way you know or rather than only um well play a couple of chords uh, you know a couple of streams yeah. uh, it's kind of yeah it's kind of, i will say that it's uh, because the the music influences that we have that we we prefer to work that way also yeah you hear the song asking for it. you can't just like skim over it you guys know what you want and, and you make great music because you're not taking shortcuts around it so that that's really cool oh thank you thank you dina Yes, yeah, so I, I want to ask you about your highlights in the abortionists apart from um, opening for Halloween. Which other highlights you have in the, with the abortionists? You know, performing with other bands or other places, departments in Guatemala that you have performed. Tell us the experience from playing in Guatemala and playing in Belize. The fans, how do you see the difference? You know? The best thing that um, happened to us was to open that show, you know, for Halloween, also to play on um, Belize, of course. Uh, about the differences, um, well, uh, for us it was kind of uh, different, you know, to be uh, with you guys, uh, because uh, I I remember that I mentioned uh, I mentioned to the to the other band members that. I don't know. We 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 felt that uh, we received a lot of love with, uh, from you guys, and it was you know kind of uh, well that 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 was a you no know, a very good experience for us. Um, I can say that it, it was because uh, we you know um, our main uh, shows uh, well here from Guatemala. Uh, you know you are. Estás acostumbrado, yeah, uh, a eso. You, you are used to that. So, uh, being the least was, you know, uh, a new experience, and uh, yeah, it was for the aversionists. I will say it was uh, um, an awesome experience. Yeah, in in resume, it was an awesome experience. Did, did, did you know about Belize and the metal scene in Belize when you when you heard that you were invited to come and perform here? Did you know about Belize and a metal scene and the, that they do concerts here? Uh, to be honest with you, I I didn't know about uh, you know the metal scene in, on Belize mm -hmm. uh, since uh, you, since you Oscar you know uh, talked to us and then we. We uh, started to, you know, to, to search. Uh, we started to, well, let's see what what is there you know, on Belize, uh, what music they have, and um, but it was until you you guys uh, contacted us. Yeah, and we don't blame you because it has been pretty. Well, it used to be pretty small. Now it's growing, right? Um, Oscar has become kind of like the godfather of metal shows in Belize. He's spearheading this thing, so. Um, yeah, it's it's bands like you guys and other bands from Central America that we really want to highlight, and the, the podcast is for that, right? So we love having you on and, and talking about this stuff because not enough people are concentrating on this region when it comes to metal, and so I guess uh, he's trying to be a force in that way. 
Oh, yeah, I, I totally get that, yeah. I will say that it's the same, uh, you know, in uh, in most of the Central America countries, you know, the, the music is kind of... Um, um, I, I will say it in, in Spanish, I do apologize. La no, música no, no. está como... Yeah, la música está como más concentrada, eh, eh, no tiene como que mayor exposición. Uh, but uh, I will say that right now, uh, it's a... Uh, you know, it's like uh, an explosion. Uh, it, it have more, um, um, yeah, more exposure uh, to the world, of course. And uh, it's something that it's, uh, of course, a good thing, you know. And where do you guys find um, the aversion is, what direction do you want to go in? Are you guys planning to do more um, things that will get you bigger audiences or you want to go more intricate and are you making this content a new album for you know the the fans that you already have well i will say that we are keeping uh, you know we are keeping it real uh with the music uh you know uh um i will say that we 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 make the music you know mostly thinking in our influences um for example, if I'm, you know, I'm, if I'm hearing, uh, um, you know, most uh, uh, death metal uh, music right now, or, or if I'm hearing more uh, black metal, I, I don't know. Uh, we try to, you know, to be real, to to write uh, the music that that we that we feel. So, I will say that uh, for our fans, it's kind of. Um, well, we, we receive a good response from our fans always, you know, and it's something that we are very happy, very happy about it. Nice. And um, yeah. do you guys find that uh, Guatemala's newer bands coming up are being supported by the, the older bands that are already established? Or how, how's the dynamics between the, the scene, the smaller bands and the older bands? Oh yeah, sure. Well. I will say that uh, we, well, we always try, you know, to to help each other, you know, if we have, for example, a couple of years more in the metal scene, we used to, you know, to, to always, uh, you know, help our friends. It's, it's, uh, well, sometimes it's kind of difficult, but uh, they're, they're always, you know, uh, mm, how can I say, um, uh, roses or pleitos or, you know, something like that, like in, uh, I don't know, in uh, a lot of, in, yeah, a lot of bands, a lot of uh, countries, I, I will say that it's always uh, uh, a, a common thing. But, uh, you know, we are trying to, to you know, to, uh, to always, uh, help uh, to always support uh, with a uh, with a simple thing you know being on the in uh, other bands uh, shows you know yeah. to buy to buy some uh, band uh, merch uh, stuff like that mm. so I'm, I'm gonna ask you a, a curveball question but um what do you say is the first song that got you into this genre into heavy music in general what's like that breakthrough band, that band that you heard that just made you say, you know what, this is this is my shit. This is what I want to do from now on. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, let me see. Uh, I will say, of course, uh, Metallica, you know, and I do remember the, the specific song that it was uh, one, uh, Metallica Ooh. one. That song was like, oh man, uh, I, I want to do that, you know. I want to learn uh, how how this guy, you know, do how this guy do this uh, guitar solo. Uh, I don't know. Uh, for for me, it was of course Metallica. Uh, I, you know, I used to to um, uh, to 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 hear more like an alternative rock thing. But when I heard Metallica, it was, you know, like, oh man, I want to do metal, of course. And just for the comparison, who do you think is the best right now? Like the, the hands down you go to to listen to that all the time. 
Oh, well, for me specifically, it's a band called uh, Orch Spire. Oh, yeah, it's I think uh, I more. Uh, yeah, it's more like uh, technical dead metal. It's like the you know for me it's the top you know they are very 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 um, progressive uh, very technical you know so yeah it's the kind of I uh, don't know how these guys uh, do that you know but yeah for me it's just like uh, this band. That's sick. So we're gonna probably ask um, multiple of our guests that so we could put together a playlist of of songs or like really really epic bands. That um, oh, yeah. the Metal Haven podcast fans can check it out. The songs, the top songs, right? Oh yeah, sure. Awesome. <laughs> so you guys do? Um, are you guys on a label or are you fully um, independent? Do you do you do um, most of the things on your own? Yes, uh, we are fully independent. And uh, right now, uh, I don't know if it's there. Uh, you know. Um, um is, if is there a band or a, a label here in guatemala i will say that um a lot of bands that i know and also the aversionists are in you know an independent band uh, we we used to work uh, by by our own you know that that's yeah it's, it's a lot harder to do it that way but i think it's a lot more um uh, gratifying in the end because you own what you make and you don't have to argue with anybody about contracts or anything like that. So, yeah. But um, considering you're fully independent, how's the dynamic within the band business-wise? Do you guys um, arrange everything? Is there like a, 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 a leader or like a point? Or do you guys more like democratically decision-making thing? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we used to, for example, we used to have... Um, a manager, uh, you know, Ofi, uh, she used to work with us, but then uh, right now I will say that um, it's more democratic, <laughs> okay. uh, you know, yeah, we are, we are uh, carrying the band, you know, uh, the three of us, uh, the, the, you know, the main uh, uh, founders of the apparition is, you know, Gabriel, uh, Biash and myself uh, are, you know, uh, carrying the band mostly, you know, we right now we don't have a manager or uh, something like that, of course. And tell us your thoughts on the Walking Central American Walking competition. You plan on competing next year? Oh, well, of course, uh, you know, if it's uh, if is there a possibility, oh, yeah, of course, we want to have you want tried, to be there. Uh, have you ap applied before? Because I saw uh, a flyer where you guys were performing. In two on March 2016, you were performing, but I, the flare said Wacken Central American. So I don't know if yeah. you did or you just played at, and for the band that won. Well, we we were just playing. Uh, we 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 didn't compete less, you know, to to be on the Wacken. It was like uh, you know more like a, a regular show. You know, we received the invitation to to be there. Only you know as um, as an invited band, but not competing, of course. Okay. But uh, yes, we we are planning uh, to, you know, uh, we we of course want to, if it's possible to to be on walking. It, it, you know, I don't know. It, it can be a very uh, incredible experience, of course. And okay. we have the opportunity to to do that. Of course, that we we are going to. We are going to try it, of course. All right. And um, how do you guys feel about the online versus in-person um, situation What most bands come to find? They either go and make a lot of videos or they do a lot of touring due to COVID and stuff. Um, do you guys think you're going to be more online or more in-person? Well, of course, I will say that right now we, of course, prefer to be, um, um, you know, more like on online thing, you know, because uh, we are still having some uh, COVID um, cases, uh, a lot of uh, uh, COVID um, restrictions. So I will say uh, up to now, we still have, uh, you know, 
in our minds to be more uh, in a virtual stuff than uh, that presential. But I hope it um, it can be back to normal uh, pretty soon. Of course, we are uh, we have a lot of um, a lot of tenemos muchas ganas, verdad, de de estar tocando en vivo, you know, to to play live shows, and that's for sure. Awesome, awesome. Because it, I mean, it, it for a second there felt like 2019 was the last metal shows that was going to happen for for a long time, and I, I'm glad the shows are slowly coming back. And I've seen a lot of people commenting on their thoughts on virtual reality and bands going live in that way. What, what do you think about that? You think there'll be a future where you like plug in and, and log on to to go to your band's favorite your your favorite show, your favorite performer to go see them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it can be a um, a good um, uh, puedes puede ser una una buena opción. It can be a good option, you know, to to have that uh, on on your computer. But uh, it will never be like be on a live show. Yeah, totally. You know, we, it. Of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, we. I don't know. We prefer to be live, you know, to to, to see or or you know the band right here in front of you. So yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, tell us about your other side projects because I have seen that you have a, you play in a lot of bands. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you know, um, I will say uh, that uh, my. My main project always uh, gonna be, you know, the aversion is also uh, the black portrait. Uh, also, with the, the with the black portrait, we are, you know, having some inactivity. Uh, but um, I also used to spoke a lot with um, Jose, uh, my my drummer on uh, the black portrait, and. Uh, Yeah, so we are, you know, uh, having on mind to launch a new project, uh, and uh, we are very excited about it. Uh, we want to do um, a dead, uh, uh, more uh, technical dead metal band with him, and also with uh, a couple of friends here uh, in Guatemala. And um, I can say that uh, this will be my right now. This. We, this can be my main my main projects, uh, okay. of course. Yeah. So, um, what advice would you have for any um, Belizean or Guatemalan or you know Central American bands coming up? Um, what advice do you have for them? Oh, what can I say? <laughs> well, um, just to you know be tough, you know to uh, practice practice a lot that uh that will be a main uh i don't know a main thing to do if you want to be uh, you know um if si, si quieres hacer una banda que, que pueda estar uh, en la escena eh, that uh, uh, can be um com competent i guess mm -hmm. yeah uh, we we have to practice a lot uh You know, um, to to escuchar mucha listen. música nueva. Yeah, to listen some uh, new music. Uh, to listen, uh, you know, to have more versatility. Of course, not only um, not only all this kind of uh, genre, only this uh, kind of metal. You know, um, I used to. Yeah, I used to tell. I used to. You know, to tell to my friends to, man, you have to ex expand your what you are hearing because you can learn a lot from a different uh, musical genre, of course. For sure. And I think that's what makes some of the best bands that include other aspects of things into into their genre and then they make new genres completely. So that's where the creativity is, yeah. Oh yeah, totally. Of course, um, uh, that will be a main uh, a main issue. You know, uh, man, uh, please uh, listen to yeah. 
music also please listen to i don't know um uh, blues uh, you know something like that not yeah. only i i just want to learn i want to listen uh, only in uh, metal music but yeah and, you and can learn a lot from uh, multi -genre different music bands. styles yeah they do well i mean like i think ginger technically is a multi-genre band you got bands like skin dread um alien weapon totally. right? Yeah, you got you got a lot of bands that um, they mix it up and, and they make some really interesting music. And then you have some exactly. that sound more on just like the metal or technical side, like Dream Theater. They have a lot of genres inside of their music. Oh, yeah. It's surprising. Sometimes you're listening to a metal song and you're like, is this is this a choir. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's good. Yeah. It, it all blends together perfectly. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Of course, these guys, you know, used to play uh, different styles, you know, in music. So it will help you, uh, you know, to to expand your your musical ideas. You know, of course, to listen other than only metal. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, um, Herman, I want to thank you for the interview and. I want to tell you that after you guys played here in Belize, we have a lot of friend requests from a lot of bands from Guatemala that want to come and play here in Belize. Different genres, and they will get their chance to come and perform, you know. And just this 10th anniversary that we want to do, we want to have bands that have performed before that people, I mean, get to like you guys a lot. People ask me on the street, what happened to you guys? And because I had the shirt on, and they asked Lloyd too about you guys, you know, they first they thought LinkedIn was the official vocalist, but I guess they're not updated on the on the band Facebook page. So I told them I'm going to try and do an interview with you guys. So you keep us updated with the band, with new music, where you guys are going to perform. And yeah, and the, the, the idea of this was to answer their questions, you know, to make them know this. You still guys are still uh, planning on making new music touring too and we hope to have you here probably this year if we get to do the show yeah and yeah we're going to be promoting more bands from central america too you know give them a little awesome. push there so um tell tell hi to the guys here biash and um gabriel yeah anything else yes man well with, with um probably have you back at some point to talk about some of the the music you like and break down some bands or albums so That'd be fun in the future. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. And also, man, I I want to thank you guys. You know, uh, to thank Oscar, Dina, and all, uh, all uh, you know, our, our uh, uh, Be Belizean fans. I don't know if yeah. I say it right. <laughs> yeah, yes. I want to thank you guys uh, for you know, be. Um, uh, for estar atentos a, a, a la banda, you know, to, yeah, we want to thank you guys. And uh, we, like I said before, we are hoping to be there as soon as uh, COVID allows it. It'll be, you know, for us, it'll be like, oh, man, um, something that we are, you know, hoping, uh, of course, uh, with new music. And uh, we are not dead, man. <laughs> we are alive <laughs> and uh, we are still, you know, working on this material. So thank yeah. you guys once again. All right. Okay. And thank you too. First right. guest. Thank so. you, Dina. One wrapped up. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Sure.